but like that, yeah. like, yeah, same thing with me. It's like, I don't know why, basically every single game I've played, I always seem to gravitate to the low tiers. Like, <laughs> Melee, I love playing uh, Doc and Roy. In this game, I love playing Doc kind of. Most people don't consider that um, good of a character. Oh, um, god, this yeah. is. The matchup that you quotedly love to your oh. heart's content. This matchup sucks for, for Captain Falcon. I would be surprised if it's just a double two stock, unless he switches. But what? I mean, Cashman is a good player. Yeah, uh, I was he say, definitely has a chance. Hey, I said 70 30. He has a 30. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, how good are Captain Falcon's combos on Pikachu, first of all? Uh, I mean, do they work the same like on the rest of the cast? Yeah, I mean, once he gets the combos, like they're still there. But it's can you get them? Because yeah. when uh, Pikachu is in neutral, um, not like, only so hard yeah, not only is he hard to grab. But he's hard to hit because he's such a small hurtbox. Uh, he can actually crouch under his grab. Yeah. And so when he approaches, he has to do two things. Oh, we got a jab oh. reset with the okay, first Unfortunately, of, not in position yeah. to get anything, though. That was, that was really cool, though. Uh, but yeah, when he's crouching initial, uh, he can literally just like bypass everything that Captain Falcon has. Which, tacking on isn't doing too much. I mean, one thing I did notice that uh, Kashmir did was like, he landed with a back air to try and... Um, does, is back air able to hit him when he's crouching? I feel like it'd be able to. Uh, it can hit pretty low. Yeah, like it looks like the fist is able to hit a crouching opponent. So I think that's one um, adaptation Cashmere's going to do. And a country player is singing with R before. Uh, Cashmere's doing a fantastic job right now. Mixed up his recovery perfectly right yeah. there. All right, and no, back air's going to take it. it. Yeah. I feel like Cashmere's playing this matchup pretty well, but. Oh, Tachyon isn't going off stage to like give him enough. I mean, he has, but the thing is, like, he yeah, like there, Cashmere is just doing it at the right position to get around whatever edge guard attempt Tachyon's going for. Yeah, Tachyon's going for the edge guard attempt that he, um, you would see most players go for. Hug the clay, the stage as much as they can. But every single ca um, recovery that Cashmere's doing, he's doing it away. So that way, he gets around what Tachyon's trying to get, and he's able to recover back on stage for free. The thing that Tachyon needs to change with his gameplay is like, he just needs to hesitate a little bit and see the direction Cashmere's gonna go for. Like there, he tried yeah. to call it out, but good thing that Cashmere. I think Cashmere's gonna go for an up air Oh! Alright, All right. switching up with the uh, Raptor boost to ledge that time. I definitely agree with that, because if uh, Tachyon was just a little bit impatient, it could have cost him a stop. Oh, if he's going for the up air. Man, I would not have thought about this outcome. Uh, Cashman's definitely put in a lot of practice to make this happen, but finally a dash attack taking out like 180. I always love how Pikachu's dash attack's able to kill. It just kind of looks like the wimpiest jump into you, but it's just like, <laughs> <laughs> you go fly. Alright, not gonna take it, but the next one might. Keep trying to go for those up tilts. Unfortunately, I feel like it's really hard to hit 2 for Pikachu with it. Oh, another great tech. He's been uh, pretty good about those. Ooh, try to go for the mix up right there with the F smash. Now, as you're saying before, Kazmir is definitely going to be very careful because um, just one throw off stage could lead to the end for him. Good thing for Kazmir, I think he saved his jump the entire time. Yeah, which is really what you have to do. Oh, oh I thought I almost had to call on that tech. Yeah. Oh, I'm get up attack. All right. Oh no. Maybe a miss input. Yeah, that definitely would have been a miss input. So he's trying to go for an auto cancel on that platform. I would expect so. Up throw? Almost. No DI, but yeah, it's gonna live that. Yeah, does definitely fairly. want to DI that away from him. Ooh, he had the call out there, but unfortunately, um, didn't get the fast call with his base. Ooh, good read. And that's gonna take it. Good stuff to Cashmere. Yeah, definitely so, seems like he ran about that match quite a bit. Yeah, Tachyon wasn't, uh, like, on the ground very much. He was very aerial. Mm -hmm. uh, which allowed Cashmere to get those back airs a lot. Uh, he wasn't like playing from shield. Uh, maybe being a little too aggressive. Uh, I can definitely see that. At some points. Because, like, like, in theory, the matchup is grab, throw, combo him off stage, and then mm -hmm. edge guard him. Like, yeah. in theory, that's, theory what, that's what makes it like 70 30. I've talked to Fatality about it. Um, and almost every Captain Falcon agrees this is the worst matchup for Captain Falcon, but Tack, uh, uh, Cashmere, wow, all his names, uh, Cashmere making it work. Alright. You know, another thing I haven't seen Tachyon really use much is, um, Thunder Shock as well. I uh, feel like the... that, that can definitely be used quite a bit, especially with edge guarding. 
Um, so yeah, whenever you try to go for the um, go for the ledge there, it forces you either to get hit by it or try to go around it. That way you can force his trajectory of how he's going to recover. That was a beautiful jab reset with that bear. It was. Yeah, he did get it earlier on Smash Ball. Yeah, but he actually got a conversion off of it this time. Oh, good technology right there, knowing that he's able to shield in between um, Pikachu's uh, quick attacks. <gasps> Ooh, quick attack into forward smash. Okay, there we go. There, all right, here it is. Smash okay, gonna go high. Oh, that was a... Oh, we got such a... oh no, another missed input. All right, luckily he didn't get spiked by that up tilt. Wow, that uh, forward smash, right? <laughs> surprisingly low lag to it. Dude, forward smash from Pikachu is extremely hard to punish. Like, you need to be frame perfect in order to go yeah. and get it. Well, like, Midnight level forward smash. Yeah. The Midnight goes like, in into forward smash right into like, whatever he wants. <laughs> the real mix up. Oh, alright. Okay. Try to get the back of the spike. I'm not able to find it though. Okay, good. Good on Taki on the wait on all of these, uh... He's waiting for all these air dodges from Cashmere every single time he goes for the up throw from there. So, definitely good stuff to him for that. He had a chance to get the reset. What's he going go for the forward air? Wow. Uh, interesting trajectory on that back air. Okay. Oh! Really low recovery, but that one will take it. Uh, okay. Tacon's doing a really good job at recovering uh, with these angles on these quick attacks. Yeah, no. Making sure to change up each time and making sure that he never side beats to stage. Because if he side beats to stage, he will get called out and get there. Oh, yeah. I mean, he has he has had a few um, plums worth using side beat. But a good thing is that he hasn't done it at a critical moment. Just yeah. Yet. He hasn't gone like, severely punished for it. Okay, try to call out that up smash. I'm not sure. If I'm pretty sure only the weak hit goes through the platform, so from what I can see. Yeah, I, I wouldn't imagine that he's his hitbox is that big. Okay, Ooh. good fade from Cashman. Yeah, it's just his basing in this matchup is just immaculate so far. Alright. Ooh! Okay. Yeah, that's why it's so hard for Captain Falcon is to get that falling up air on such a small hitbox. Hurtbox, I should say. I was thinking he might try to just go around him and then just like go for the stomp. Right, yeah, no, definitely, you don't really want to challenge Pikachu's forward smash. Go for the hug there. Uh, mounds down to the wire. Both characters are able to kill each other out uh, this percentage very easily. All it takes is just one good read. Alright, how to use his jump there. Good on recovering high at that moment. Mix up Tachyon. Oh, nasty stuff coming from Cashmere there. Oh, man. Just those few critical decisions. And that, that make you happy? Yes. Yes, it does. <laughs> I'm gonna take a shower real quick. Right. Okay. Do you have to um, play? Uh, no. Looks like I'm gonna have Mink come on the mic. Right. So, pleasure commentating with you. Yo, right, great way to end that uh, commentary oh, set. Oh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm happy I got to see a stop like that. Wow. That is definitely something to behold there. That uh, a losing matchup and winning it, uh, not convincingly, but uh, definitely doing a great job with it. Did you see that last set? I did not. Oh, I wow. Just, uh, just rolled in. Yeah, it was uh, Kashmir's Falcon versus Tachyon's Pikachu, which is known to be a bad matchup for Captain Falcon, and uh, Kashmir took it.